welcome to Inside Business with the Lisbon MBA. We have on, uh, we are honored to have here Paul Osterman from MIT Sloan School of Management. He teaches HR, uh, HR management and management. Uh, and so we're going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, uh, most important one is that you have been uh, analyzing and, and proposing a lot of solutions to the American government in order to create jobs and increase job quality. And we and regarding the current situation and crisis in Europe, what would your key advice be to Portugal uh, regarding human uh, human capital uh, in building rebuilding the economy? Sure, thank you. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Uh, the current crisis. There's a short run issue about the current crisis having to do with financial markets, and I'm not going to talk about that. But there's also a long-run issue, which is how both companies and how the economy create new jobs in the long run. And we're so pleased to be involved with the Lisbon MBA because we really do think that human capital and skill building is very important for both companies and for the country as a whole. For companies, there's a lot of evidence that if they have a more skilled workforce, if they invest more in the training of their workforce or if the workforce comes to them with greater skill, for example, with a Lisbon MBA, that those companies will be more productive, that, that their efficiency will rise, that they'll generate new products, that they'll be able to, to reach their customers more effectively. There's also a lot of evidence that a more skilled workforce helps create new jobs through innovation in the whole economy. Entrepreneurship, rates of entrepreneurship go up, uh, the economy develops new products, again, more efficiencies. And so there's the long-run growth strategy for any country, including Portugal, is to invest in the skill level of its workforce, to invest in the human capital of its workforce. And one component of that clearly is a strong MBA program, such as the Lisbon MBA. Thank you, Paul. That was great. So thank you for watching us.